The Niagara Escarpment is one of the world's most unique natural wonders. It is also home to the Bruce Trail, which is Canada's oldest and longest hiking trail. This trail starts here, at the thundering waters of Niagara Falls. It then winds along the Niagara Escarpment and ends over 800 kilometers away. The Bruce Trail also serves as a wildlife conservation corridor. It helps to protect and connect the natural ecosystems and wildlife populations found along the escarpment. Because there are so many different types of habitats on the escarpment, a hike along the Bruce Trail is a great way to discover Ontario's amazing diversity of reptiles and amphibians. Hi, I'm Candice. And I'm Iwan. We're here now on the Bruce Trail. We're going to see what we can find. Let's go. The main part of the Bruce Trail is marked with white blazes, while the side trails are marked with blue blazes. Some of the side trails lead to interesting places, like this abandoned and renaturalized quarry. Old quarries are usually a great spot to find various species of reptiles and amphibians, so we decide to take a closer look. While we descend into the former quarry pit, we already spot the first animals, such as this eastern garter snake making a hasty retreat into the rocks. These rocks also provide shelter for amphibians, such as this American toad. This former quarry is also home to a variety of spectacular insects and birds. The boardwalk is perfect for getting close to the animals without disturbing them or their habitat. Through the reeds we can see painted turtles and northern water snakes basking while others are out foraging. The wildlife appears to be thriving so well here that it is hard to believe that just over 30 years ago this was nothing more than a barren quarry. Once we leave the boardwalk, we even see plenty of frogs in small ponds along the trail. With all of the rocks and natural ground cover, snakes definitely have plenty of place to hunt and hide here. We encounter a juvenile milk snake, one of Ontario's species at risk, in the middle of the track. He's trying to scare us off with a vibrating tail, sudden head movements and pretending to strike at us. However, these snakes are completely harmless. Eventually, after lunging to the camera, he disappears. 
We're going to leave this quarry behind now and see what else we can find along the Bruce Trail. The cliff edge and face of the escarpment is probably the oldest and most intact forest ecosystem in this part of North America. It supports a diverse range of plant and animal species. There are many young red-spotted newts, also called efts, boldly stumbling around in broad daylight. They can secrete tetrodotoxin through their skin when they are threatened or injured. This is one of the strongest toxins in the world, which is also found in the blue-ringed octopus and pufferfish. These brightly colored newts are a walking neon sign that says, Eat me and you will regret it. For reasons we cannot figure out, these newts are actually trying to scale the cliff face of the escarpment. They are not always successful, but these stubborn little newts keep trying over and over again. Wood frogs are perched all around us on trees, rocks and logs. They could care less about us being here and are making no attempt to hop away. These frogs can actually survive the freezing of up to 70% of their body during winter. At the top of the escarpment, we are greeted and watched by a handful of well-camouflaged American toads. We are now going to leave these rocky cliffs behind and make our way to some of the lower-lying swamp areas along the escarpment. Our hike has taken us to a swampy region as we follow a different side trail. There are several different species of frogs lining the edge of the swamp. Some of the most brightly colored frogs we see are these leopard frogs. This is an exciting find. A young snapping turtle in the water, right next to the track. Hopefully we can locate some bigger ones as well. There is a type of salamander hiding here, called the red-backed salamander. The name is obviously derived from the reddish stripe running down its back. Some individuals are missing the red stripe and appear to be grey. These are referred to as leadbacks. 
A fisherman told us that there is a hidden lake somewhere in the woods at the back of this swamp. He has apparently seen some rather large snapping turtles there. We decide to see if we can find this lake. He told us to follow the trail from our current location at the known back of the swamp for another 30 minutes until we see a steep rock formation on the right. We would then follow another hardly used trail through the rock crevices, then down to the hidden lake. It's an exciting hike as garter snakes and wood frogs appear along the path. We spot a small but nicely marked wood frog. This is the perfect opportunity for another eye frogography shot. After a while, we see the tree line changing in the distance and the rumored hidden lake finally reveals itself. We make our way down to the shore, only to have the face of a snapping turtle smile up at us from the water. They are called snapping turtles for a reason. If confronted on land, especially the larger animals will snap at anything using their powerful jaws. This is definitely a very old turtle. You can see that his carapace and tail are completely covered in algae. He is not afraid at all and he even comes in for a closer look of our underwater camera. It's an amazing experience to be face to face with such a wonderful creature. After a while he disappears into the depths of the lake. We decide to pack up our gear and head back onto the trail, leaving the hidden lake behind and this location a mystery. The Bruce Trail is maintained by over 1200 volunteers, working hard to secure and protect this vital conservation corridor. Unfortunately, only 48% of this trail is safe from future development. If you would like to help save the species along this trail, please check out the Bruce Trail Conservancy website. Opportunities like the ones we are experiencing exist all along the Niagara Escarpment. They are yours to discover once you start exploring the Bruce Trail.